Elizabeth. And Dustin. I'm the Toy Hoarder, and today we are back with another ultimate mystery box. Okay, this is filled entirely with toys. Again, it is a huge palette. This thing is this wide and this wide and I don't know. It's pretty big though, guys. Um, probably once we get towards the bottom, I'm going to end up inside of it again like I did last time, so it should be a super fun time. Now this one was a little bit more sealed than the other one when we were riding back with them. It kind of tore the plastic wrap all up, so it ripped the other plastic wrap off entirely, so that's why you guys didn't see plastic wrap on the other one. So we're going to attempt to get this off first. I feel like we should have brought scissors. Can we just... No, it? it'll, it'll just pop right off. Alright, can, can we just... Oh, careful. Got some toys Oh on. my goodness. It's stuck in the... They like cut the box. Yep. Okay. Yay! Ooh, nice shot. Okay, we have a couple totes that are aligned along the side that we are going to just sort of transfer things so that we can get to all the stuff on the bottom. Okay guys, the first thing that we were super excited about, and I told you this on the other video too, is all these Bo Peeps, you guys. This is the Toy Story Signature Collection Bo Peep. She is so gorgeous and comes with her sheep, which I think this is the only version that's come with her sheep yep. so far, huh? So, super excited about that. We're going to get these out of the way for you guys. They're all in relatively good condition, it looks like, except for this one, which looks like someone pinched it between a box and another box. <laughs> Oh my goodness, giant plush toys. Okay. I'm trying not to cheat, guys. I can't help myself. What happened to this? I told you, it looked like somebody just crushed it between two really heavy boxes. They may have. Okay, I don't know. We'll work on it later. Is that all of them? Okay. That's all of them. Alright, guys. We have another Captain Marvel box here. This is a Target exclusive with a whole bunch of collectible Captain Marvel items. This is a blind puppy. It has no eyes, which is super creepy. Did you check out From the two bird? scoops. Yeah, there's literally no eyes. It just has That's a nose, a mouth, so ears, and a collar, guys. And then it's got all this glitter, which actually does not come off. Okay, well, dog furry plush. I don't know, you guys, but this is slightly creepy. It's really soft, though, surprisingly. Surprisingly soft. All right. Oh, I haven't decided if I like this or not. Okay. It's a dachshund. It's a dachshund? Yep. I don't know my species, but here is a small dog with this weird fall print and scarf. He is not very soft. He's actually quite solid. Oh, hey, hey. Another blind puppy, you guys. This is soft. I'm not a big pink fan, but this is super, super soft, you guys. Here's another puppy. This one has eyes, so that's a step in the right direction. <laughs> the wheels are in there, it looks oh like. Oh my goodness. This is a little beat up box here, but this is a Monster Jam truck. And we actually got the giant remote control one in the other palette. So this is super exciting. We're going to have to play with both. Does this one run on the water too? Oh, uh, I don't know. Let me see it real quick. The large one will run on water, which is... But uh, no, it's not a water one. Oh. Here you go. Alright guys, we got another monster truck in here. This guy is Odyssey Battery Summit Racing Equipment. It's Bigfoot. Oh. Bigfoot. It's Bigfoot, guys. We this found Bigfoot. Cool. Okay, what's this? This is packaging for a pool flute that may or may not be in here. Okay, I don't know about that, you guys. Game time! Ooh, okay. This is pretty fun. I have the Toy Story version of this, but this is the Frozen 2 fishing game, which looks pretty nifty. We might check that out and do a video on that for you guys later. There are actually two of them in here. Cool, cool, cool. Aww. Aww, a bunny farm truck, you guys. That's kind of adorable. This is a tin truck. It's meant to be decorative, I guess. The wheels don't actually roll. But it's pretty cute. I guess I shouldn't have 
gonna put that in like the same old bin. Hot Wheels motorized speed three stunts in one. Okay, this is a figure eight raceway, which is actually in here. That is super exciting, guys. As you can see, it is a classic 90s Hot Wheels set. Hot Wheel throwback is what it says on the tag. Yes. All right, well, we might be doing a video on this with all the Toy Story cars that I have because, you know, me and my Toy Story cars. <gasps> Slime on it. Be careful. Oh no! He got slime on his belly. But yeah, look at this giant eating. bunny. Oh, did you touch this one? It's so soft. Ah! Well, don't touch that ear. Yep. Unfortunately, you guys, this toy is completely ruined now because of this slime. It will not come off with anything. So that's really unfortunate because this is a super soft one and he's super cute. I'm sad. I don't even know where to put the, this. The problem is, is the slime gets inside the material that the, the, the skin of the stuffed animal is made out of and into the actual stuffing, so it will never actually come out and the fur in those spots will always be kind of coarse and harsh. We bought a couple of them to try some different slime removal methods that were available online and none of them really worked. Fantastic Gymnastics game. Oh, this looks like a probably younger kid game. It says ages 8 plus. Basically you kind of flip the doll and it does its little stunts and then has to land standing somewhere on the pad and you get different points depending on where you land. There you go. Oh, yes! We didn't get like any of these, you guys. <laughs> I did a count actually on the last, from the last palette. You guys, we got 49 of these five packs and 23 of the four packs. So here's 50. Woo! Okay. Nice even though. I know, right? I was really upset. I was like, what? 49. I had to recount. It was really upsetting. <gasps> oh, there's so many plush in this one. Guys, look how pretty. It's, I, I don't know why, but I feel like it looks almost like a ballerina type thing. It's super cute and flappy. All right, we have a felt play scene. It looks like a space scene, and there are actual little astronaut dogs in here. So that looks kind of fun. I like these play sets. Could be a good time. What's this? This is a role play storage scene. It is a wooden kitchen set. We've got a wooden stove in here, as well as a bunch of different utensils and things. This is pretty cute. Yeah. Oh my goodness, we have a couple of those. A lot of them. Okay, this one is all of the hand tools here. We've got a little toolbox and a bunch of the hand tools, little like garage playset type things. It's kind of neat. Are there other different ones? Yeah. So here's another hand tool one. This one is barbecue. a barbecue grill. That's kind of cool. Look at this, you guys. Awesome. There's some cool stuff in there. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's. Alright, I'm gonna get the rest of these guys out. There's a whole bunch of these. Okay, guys, we just emptied out a bunch oh, of these boxes of all different sets, and we have over 40 of them. I kind of lost count a few times in there. It's a little bit insane. And there's also one other variation that we found, which I might have to get in the box soon because, guys, my arms are too short. Okay guys, here is the other variation. This is like a little makeup counter studio thing. So that's pretty cute. Oh my goodness. Oh hey, this is a game I was telling you guys about. I already have this game, but this game is super fun. This is actually a pretty challenging game. Um, I played this with my mom and we, we both super struggled, but it was kind of fun because it was more challenging than we were expecting it to be. However, if you're getting this for young ones, may not be your best plan. I will get a video up eventually of this gameplay and the review. If you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comments below. Alright, check this out, you guys. This is called Connect Four Shots. You have to bounce the ball into the play area wherever you want your color to show up. That's super cool. Alright. So we have these little wooden alphabet boards and you take this stick on this side and you practice tracing out your letters so that the kids can get an idea of how it feels before they make a mess with a crayon or marker or pen all over everything. Also comes in numbers. Ah, 
There's also a number one. I don't remember seeing the number one last time. That's cool. Okay, guys, here's a, a super soft beanie bottom teddy bear. He is actually a pretty good weight. Unfortunately, he has had a bit of a rough time here of uh, some slime and other things. Oh, he's got a little heart on him. Cute, you guys. Cute, 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 but he's had a rough day of all the slime. Which, unfortunately, is going to be the case probably with all these stuffed animals. And this is why it's so unfortunate that all these slime toys are out. Because if you go to buy these in stores, this is on the shelves like this. And it's super sad. This is a rainbow narwhal. Which would have been really cool if it wasn't covered in slime. I'm tickled pink. Is this a, is this flamingo. a flamingo? Here's a nice creepy version of a flamingo, guys. I'm not impressed by it. I think his yellow feet are super creepy. Okay, I don't know. He's had a little bit of a rough go with slime, but it's not too bad. Ooh, that was actually loose slime. Okay, he's okay. Yay! All right, guys, we got what's called a Little Woody's acorn, and then there's a figure inside. This is from Series 5, and you can collect a Mystery Woody figure, which has nothing to do with Toy Story, even though it sounds like it. They are animals that live in the woods. What is this? Okay, guys, we got a slime toy. This is... Slimy Gloop Squishy Chums. Slimy paint that transforms into 3D squishy pets. I am a little bit terrified by this. Although, I think I did find one of these little donut trays in um, one of the mystery totes. I think the first mystery tote that we put up. So, thought that was just a trash piece of a product, but I think it's actually a part of a set like this. Okay guys, we have what looks like, I don't know, maybe a big dollhouse or something. I'm gonna probably need help with this. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. Can we reach the bottom? Yep, there we go. Oh Alright. Oh my goodness, can you guys see this? This is a, a boathouse, it looks like. And, what is this, cabinets? What? They fold out to a bed. Oh, this is a bit. Oh, this is a huge dollhouse. It actually has different, uh, primey play, I don't, does it, there's buttons on top. Oh my goodness, there's a bunch of stuff. There's a garbage disposal that makes noise. These little things all open up. It's just like all a right, nice little spin it around beach cottage. It's, it's kind of heavy, you guys. There's some chairs in here. Alright, so that's what we've got, and we'll show you this other side too. Cool, cool. Alright, just set this down. Alright, let's get this oh, out of here. Oh my gosh, you guys. This thing looks huge, and it says the cinema on it. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Okay, so this looks like a big movie theater. There's like a ticket box office thing here. Oh, it looks like this opens up too. Um, I think it's another one of that same type of dollhouse thing. Alright, we're gonna spin this around. It's really cool on the other side. Oh! Look at this, you guys! We got the movie theater seating. Here, can we tilt it some so they can yeah. see inside? <gasps> and then we got the curtains here and they actually draw back. And then we got the three, two, one old fashioned movie thing. All these cabinets look like they probably open. Do they open or slide? Do you know? It looks like there's a thing. Maybe not. I'm not sure. I feel like they would have to open oh, them. they go in from the back. Oh, okay. It's open on the back. I don't know that this piece is supposed to necessarily be right here because we've got extra latches here. I don't really know. Maybe we should start doing movie reviews. That could be fun. Put some dolls of us in these seats. Oh, that'll be and fun. And whatever poster of the movie that we're gonna review. What do you guys think about that idea? Let us know Let's... down in the comments. Okay, and here is the back of it. And then we can put like different little movie posters in here. I'm not sure if these ones particularly slide out. I can't seem to get them out. Oh, here. It's at the bottom. Okay, so this will slide out and then we can have a size template so that we can make new ones. Oh, the doors don't open. Well, the doors are, what's on the right on the back of the doors? The Is exit the sign. Oh. And a wall full of stars. Man, I wish they had made the doors open. That's kind of unfortunate, but. Oh, well, this is still really cool. Massive, but really cool. Okay, let's get All this right. down. 
Okay guys, I am like super excited because I think there's another one of these doll things in here. All right, I, this one doesn't look as heavy and as obnoxious. All right. Okay, this is an OG vet clinic. It has these two seats and little table. A bunch of toy shelves. I'm just kidding, it's probably not for toys, but you know that's totally what I would put in it. All right, Ready? what's on the other side? Oh my. And then here's the rest of the vet clinic. Oh, this is so cute with the dogs and cat uh, okay. things. There's some drawers in here and some cabinets. There's, what's in here? There's a tea kettle and it has batteries, so it actually does something. Oh, guys. I don't know if you can hear it, it's really high pitched. That is one of my quick. favorite noises. Yeah? Yeah, it means the water's ready and it's time to make tea. Got some paper towels in here. Actually, it looks like there's a real little like roll of paper towels in there. This is so cool. There's little, I don't know, frozen things in here. I don't think that's part of it. Now. And then there's a big paw print embossed on the bottom here and on these windows are etched in. And this opens to, this is like one of those little kennels. I say little, but geez. These are for huge dolls. This can't be for Barbie. This has to be something bigger than Barbie. It says OG on the side for the vet clinic. We'll have to look so. up OG vet clinic. I don't know. Then we got a little bulletin board. That, I don't know, you guys. <laughs> All right. Well, with this out of the way, you can finally climb in the box. Cool. Let's do it. All right. I'm a watermelon. Okay, guys. We're in the box. Well, I'm in the box. He's not in the box. There's um. It's very difficult to get in the box because you have to move the stuff enough to get a space so that you don't step on all the toys. Okay. I got this. Are you going to just box stuff for me? Yep. Look, guys. Another wooden tool set. And another one. Okay guys, we have accessory packs for the little wooden tool sets. These, this has a drill, a hammer, a saw, a ruler, and two screwdrivers. This is actually kind of cute, you guys. So I, does it not come with these inside? Oh, I don't know what comes with inside. Ruler. That's cool. But I have a whole bunch of packs of those, you guys. Oh, no, it says right on the box. Utensils sold separately. Oh, well, cool. We've got all the little extra... Oh, the one kitchen, the barbecue one, has uh -huh. shish kebab. And remember, we found those shrimp shish kebabs in the one bucket? Is that what that's for? Okay. I think that's what that's for. No, the... Oh, my goodness. Guys, this one's for the beauty salon. We got shampoo, conditioner, blow dryer, um, well, hair dryer, hair trimmer. I'm trying to read through the uh, other text. One brush, one pair of scissors, and one couch. It fits most kids. Oh, wait. Oh, this is like a tool belt, but for salon people. What is it? A salon stylus? Is yeah, there a stylus. name for that? A stylus? Anyway, this is why I couldn't read it, you guys. There's text on the packaging that's over the text on the back of it. I get super sad when they crush these coloring books in here, you guys. This is a Trace and Learn Strawberry Shortcake coloring book, which is super adorable and kind of crushed in here. A couple other coloring books. This is Food for Thought. It's by Crayola, but it looks a little bit like that Shopkins kind of thing where you have food that has eyes and that sort of thing. It's, it's a, a lily badger. It's a little bit creepy. I don't know how I feel about this. Burger Dinosaur reminds me of Appleton. Guys. Honey badger. Another Woody's. This is from Series 5 as well. This is a yellow one. Some more tools. This set is a little beauty salon set. A bunch of makeup That's and for a the, hair dryer. The bathroom mirror, makeup mirror set. Ooh, we've got a wooden tools play set, including some wooden screws in here, which is pretty cool. I actually used a couple of these wooden screws with my Kingdom Builders toy. So if you guys have any of the Kingdom Builders, these screws, I believe, will still work in it. These look a little thinner though, so I'm not sure, but they look very similar to this. Some more tool sets. Ooh, okay. Here's a Frozen 2 Super Coloring and Activity book with over 30 stickers and stand-up characters on the back. Oh, it's like a paper doll on the back. That's so cool. Guys, I love paper dolls. Super cool stuff. Oh, snap! Got another one of these slimy gloop squishy 
Chum sets, except this one, well, it was on the bottom of the box, so, you know, that, that kind of happened to that. <gasps> oh, my goodness, Dustin, 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 Dustin. Tickets are right in New York. Oh, sweet. Is oh, that, my goodness. Is okay, that an so, expansion or a separate game? I don't know. Anyway, this is really exciting. I love the train games, which I guess this is not necessarily with trains. It looks like maybe some streetcars and other vehicles and things that you can get tickets to ride. Um, we did get, uh, which version is it that we bought? Europe. Europe. We got Europe, which we haven't played yet, so we need to do that. If you guys want to see a video on that, let us know. Ooh, we got some spy gear. This is the night vision camera. Oh, you put your phone in it. Okay, cool. You make your phone into a night vision camera. All right, y'all, we might have to film a random video at night of this, although we have a lot of mosquitoes here, so I don't know if that's the greatest plan right now. Wait till it gets a little cooler and then maybe film that. Okay, guys, the theme of this palette is apparently wooden toys. This one is a wooden garden set. Looks pretty nifty. We also have the wooden train set. I actually kind of like this one. I love trains, you guys, which is probably why I wanted to play Ticket to Ride. That and the fact that it has all the different places. Like, we have New York and Europe, and they have several other countries and different states and things. It's really fun. Oh my goodness, here's a wooden role play of a gardening set, and it's a little belt pouch thing, and then all of the gardening tools can sit on the kids. Wait. Here's another shampoo one. And several more of the gardening. Trying to see if there's any different ones in here, guys. Did we see this one? Yes, we saw that one. Ooh! Here's a firefighter one. Firefighting is awesome. I didn't say this was Academy. Super fun time, you guys. Okay, guys, we have a wooden farm set here. A little farm truck, a barn, and some different vegetables that are growing. Thank you. Oh, I like this one, you guys. A wooden robot set. This is cool. I might be keeping that. Okay. Here's your barbecue grill, you guys. We got hot dogs and hamburgers, plus all the fixings. A wooden garden set, complete with two gardeners, a pond, a cute little frog. Okay guys, here's another wooden role play set. This is a medical set. This is actually really cool because right now, where everyone is discussing the essential workers, like doctors and firefighters, police rescue, and that sort of thing, so now your child can dress up as one of the essential workers, which I think is actually really cool. We have a felt learning book. This is a Guess the Opposite. Oh, there's little felt flaps where you can lift it up to see if you got the right answer. Ooh, we have a Star Wars Force Link 2.0. I think we got some of these in the other bin too, but this is really cool. It activates other different Star Wars toys to have them have extra features. And it comes with a Han Solo. Ooh. Guys, we have a fire truck. I love fire trucks. This is so cool. Oh, it's actually an electronic one. Okay, guys, it looks like these are buttons on the side, but they're not. Maybe it was remote control. We got a wheel down here and these wheels. I'm not really sure what that one does. Okay, we have a Star Wars Rise of Skywalker, the First Order driver, and tread speeder. Except it doesn't have the driver in here. He might be somewhere at the bottom of this bin, but that is super cool. We have the newer version of this, huh? Or the older version. We have the older yeah. version of this. So this is the newer version of it. Sorry, guys. Got confused. <gasps> Finger puppets! Oh, no. Wait. 51. Now we have 51. What are we going to... Oh, no. Oh, I know why we only had 49 earlier. I opened one. Oh. I totally probably keep one of each toy because I'm a toy hoarder. I can't help myself. Okay. This is adorable, you guys. Look at this wolf. Look at it. He's so fuzzy. Look at it. So oh, adorable. You guys. Ah. I want to get to the chief's oh, uniform. He's like an arctic fox or something. He's really cool. I like him. He's from Gund, I think. Yeah, he's a Gund bear. That's a, that's a legit stuffed animal company, guys. Speaking of plush, we have a small Elsa. I think I bought this one, didn't I? I think we a, did. This is a Hallmark. Um, I don't know. I don't know if she's officially an itty bitty, but it is a Hallmark toy. And she's a little 
I had little, um, I was gonna say keychain, but I guess you can't be a keychain keychain because it doesn't undo here, so I don't, I don't know what this is called, but it's cool. Okay guys, this is actually kind of fun. This is called a Springtime Fun Search and Reveal Puzzle, and it comes with one of those little red magnifiers, so you can go find the extra designs inside. I don't know if anyone remembers this. This is like, oh gosh, I had these toys when I was really little. I had one that was a Snow White tea set, and all the placemats had this, but the cups were the actual magnifying glasses, so as you set each of the teacups on it, you could look through them and see the different designs. It was really cool. But that's what it reminds me of, so super nostalgic there. Loving it. What? Block Tech makes mystery minis? Okay, I'm kind of excited about that. Go ahead. Can we? Okay. Do it. We're opening this, you guys. Okay. Hopefully they're still- Oh, yes, they are still in here. Okay. Oh, I don't want to drop them. Oh, yes! I got a firefighter and a nurse! Oop. I... Alright, I'm gonna have Dustin show this up close. Hold on. Essential workers. I like it. Oh, I wish we had more of this. Oh, we have some wooden eggs that are painted black, but I don't know why. Why are these like are these like rotten eggs? What is this? <laughs> okay, you can collect them all. This is Princess Sparkle Putty. This is apparently Ariel's Sparkle Putty. I am not big into the slime putty type things, so this is not for me, but it's Kind of neat, I guess. I don't really understand how you know what princess it goes to after you've taken it out of the container, but... Oh, guys, a novelty card kit! You tie one of these little toys onto these cards, and then you use them as, like... I mean, I guess they don't have to be Valentine's. They say, you crock my world. Oh, that's... That's so cute! Like, you rock my world, but with little crocodiles. That's adorable. We've got another gymnastics game. And a high face cannon game. What? Also, guys, I think this is the game that our hand went to. See this big red hand? I think that's what that's from from our first tote video. I wonder if it's actually from that particular board game. I don't know. Okay, this game is called Don't Lose Your Cool. Apparently, you attach it to your head and it reads your heart rate and tells you how alarmed you are. I don't know how I feel about this, you guys. And everybody tries to make you super anxious and panicky. Ooh, it's another gone. gymnastics game. Oh no. This looks delicious. We have a mess-free uh, magic marker, imagine ink set of different foods and donuts and stuff. It also says there are magic stickers inside and hidden images. There's magic picture games. This actually sounds kind of fun, but I don't know, it might make me too hungry. I don't know if I'll be able to handle that or not. This is a little blower for the giant Wubble Bubble Ball, which I think we might have gotten in our first mystery coat. It has no battery in it, that's why it's not doing anything. Yay! Finger puppets in the little stage, and it's got two different designs depending on which way you open it. I love these so much, you guys. <gasps> and another little alien guy! Super cute, and he lights up too. It's hard to see because we're outside right now, but he does have different color lights that happen when he's talking. Alright, we got a strange safari. Unfortunately, I think someone spilled slime all over the cover of it. So that's a little bit ruined, but we still have the stickers inside, minus one sticker. We got a Polar Animals book, cute little, I guess, younger child book. This is actually, it says walmart.com on the back. It's from Walmart. in here. I think this is a leaf that fell earlier. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. Anyway, we have uh, Play-Doh eggs. It's a bunny and a um, chick. Probably a chick. Chick, yeah. Um, and then there's Play-Doh inside. 
their stampers. It's kind of cute, and then you can make little Play-Doh eggs and then decorate them for Easter. Oh, a Fantastic Four Legends figure. This is Mr. Fantastic. It's actually a pretty cool figure, you guys. I like this. Anyway, so this is a pretty fun little figure. I don't know if you guys have seen Secret Life of Pets, but this is fantastic. This is Mel, I believe his name is. Yes. Okay, so this is Mel. Super cute. I love how he's got his tongue out all the time. Fantastic. Oh, we're keeping him. By the way, I loved the Secret Life of Pets movies, the first and the second one. I thought they would be kind of cheesy with some cheap jokes, but they were actually pretty good and pretty funny movies for both adults and children. So if you haven't seen them, you should probably check those out. Okay, guys, we got a Little Tykes Wheels set. This is kind of cool. Looks like we've got a ramp in here and some other construction cones and barriers that you can jump over. And you push the button on the car to make it go. That's pretty neat. Okay guys, last item, and it's something I've actually never seen before, but that I'm a little bit excited about. Guys, look at this! Nerf tennis? Okay, we've got some tennis courts in our neighborhood, and we might be running down there with our Nerf tennis rackets, and maybe like a Nerf ball, and we are going to have a grand old adventure out there. I am super stoked about it. So, that is actually everything in this box. Ooh, I'm sitting on a planted driveway, so the box keeps tipping. But that is everything that is in this box for right now. So, let me know what you guys thought of all this stuff down in the comments below. And anything we didn't know what it was or that you have some fun facts about, put it down in the comments below. Do you have any of these toys? Did you love any of them? Hate any of them? Let us know what you guys thought down in the comments below. And then go check out our channel. We got tons of different toy reviews, mystery box unboxings, mystery tote unboxings, mystery palette unboxings, all sorts of crazy fun things, and also some different Lego builds and things. Yeah, builds which uh, this reviews. one is working on making a bunch more Lego builds for you guys as well. So, but. okay, but on a serious note, you guys, what? was your favorite thing that we pulled out of the box today. I think my favorite thing is definitely the Arctic Wolf plush. He is so cute and fuzzy and he is probably totally getting cuddled all night every night because it's me, you guys. That's how that's gonna go. What do you think? What was your favorite thing? Uh, that's really tough this time, but I think I am gonna have to go with the Ticket to Ride New York. <gasps> oh, that's cool too. Oh, we got a trains. lot of really cool stuff. Although that one isn't all trains, which I think is pretty cool. So we've got some other transportation vehicles and pretty much all of the vehicles are super cool. So what was your favorite? Let us know down in the comments below and go check out our channel to find plenty more toy reviews and other fun videos, including some other different mystery boxes and mystery toys. Until next time, have a great time playing. Bye. Bye.